everybody, it's your boy Doo Dog with Doo Dog Reviews. And in this review, we're going to be looking at the 85 year celebration anniversary Marvel Legends Odin. I'm going to go ahead and tell you, man, I might as well take that build a figure from 2000, what, 14 ish, something like that. Uh, just throw them in the trash, man. Just go ahead and give it to Goodwill, give it to somebody, because this doesn't, need, it's no comparison. Like, this ain't even, they really, really upped the game with the Marvel Legends team. You got multiple interchangeable helmets. That one right there is so sick right there. Uh, you don't really have any paint on that one, which is interesting, but you could touch it up. Multiple hands, the same staff. The Builder figure has a great sword. We've seen that sword before. Some ravens, which is always cool to add a little something, something to it. Overall, just by looking at this guy right here. Now, he is a little... He's bulky, he's huge, but he's a little squishy right in here. I don't know what it is, but uh, but I get it. I get it. I get what they had to do. You got the beard going on, and you got the head, the, the hair going on. And um, let's be real, you can't really do no articulation on this right here. He does have the double uh, dumbbell peg, but all you're going to do is barely turn to the right and to the left. But uh, he does come with these pieces right here that are interchangeable and they have a peg like a key they key in same thing with the helmet so this is my favorite helmet out of the bunch that's how i'm going to display him personally you can do that right there paint apps on the eyes on the face is fantastic everything on this guy is amazing he's got some gold brush dry brushing in the gold different bronze look you got that green you got the marbling which always helps them out they painted these guys uh they painted these on the on the gauntlets and that's just regular plastic regular plastic uh man i'm gonna tell you i see what they tried to do and it's it's neat i love soft goods capes um if it was bendy wire if it was thicker it would have been incredible but let's be real this looks like a piece of kleenex uh, it really does. They could have put some Mythic Legions level stuff and made actual fur and a thicker material for the cape with a bendy wire. And that would have been crazy. But at least they tried. At least they gave us a little something, something. This one actually has the hair attached to it. Let's see what that looks like. If we can get that on there. Yeah, there we go. So there he is with that massive, massive crown which is pretty crazy. Listen, y'all, I'm not going to go over the hand interchange. Y'all know this. Y'all been doing this thing. Y'all been in the game, think of game for years. Y'all know it just pegs in, pegs out. He does have the two weapon, wep weapon, wow, weapon wielding hands. So he can hold the hand, hold the weapons. Got an open hand, which is awesome. Got a fist right here. Uh, overall, he looks fantastic as far as looks are concerned. Um, he is beefy. He's a massive chunk of plastic, as you can see him right here beside the destroyer. Uh, but don't don't think you're gonna get this dude in some superposability. It just ain't gonna happen. Single jointed uh elbows, he's got double jointed knees, he's got the uh a really cool this is all original, by the way, by the way. So hey, you gotta give him props on that. A cool chest piece, armor piece. This articulator, zero articulation up here. He only has it in here. So it's kind of a dumbbell inside the waist. So he'll kind of tilt a little bit, a little bit forward, a little bit back. But he is a beefy fella. Looks absolutely fantastic in my opinion. Now let's see what he looks like and see if one of these heads will fit on the destroyer body. All right, good news for everybody wondering. It does work. Uh, the hair from the back is going to be a little weird. You definitely have to heat this up. You got to heat the head up to pop on this peg. Uh, I had to heat it up in some hot water, but it does look, I mean, it does work. You can get him into, you know, pose it just right. And there you go. For those of y'all wondering, there is Odin's head on the Destroyer, Marvel Legends Destroyer body right there. Not, not too bad. Not too bad. All right. So the arms will go out that much straight out. Legs, y'all, you ain't gonna barely do nothing. It's crazy. Like, like, yeah, it's kind of sad. But like I said, he's so bulky. 
And there again, here's his torso. That's about as far over as you're going to get him on that. Far forward. Not a lot. But as far as him looking incredible, he's definitely going to have a shelf presence. 100% in your Asgardian collection. Here he is next to the Mythic Legion's Moose. I don't know if he'll fit on that. I may try it in a minute. Let's see if he don't fall off the review station. I mean, he look a little goofy on that, but he, he kind of <laughs> he can kind of sit on it, kind of sort of. Here he is next to the Hasbro Studio Series Movie eighty six Optimus Prime. As you can see there, here he is next to the brand new Man Thing, about the same height. The Man Thing might be a tad taller. Here he is next to Scar, the new Scar, Marvel Legends Deluxe Box. Here he is next to the 5K Toys uh, Prowler Miles Morales from 5K. Here he is next to the NECA. Rat King, I just reviewed him last week, if you want to check that video out. Here he is next to a Mafex Psylocke towering over her, obviously. And last but not least, here he is next to a Mythic Legion's Ice Troll, and that Ice Troll is insanely massive. It's your boy Dude All, hit the thumbs up, leave a comment, share the video. Shout to me, love.